welcome back guys so where we left is can you connect it or we created a reducer and we connect to the store and then we have it being added so in this video we are going to focus on dispatching the reaction in our component so in my profile folder like I showed you here is all what we need to do the action so here, let me let me give you the scenario here, right? So how the update come through? First, we need to make sure the user has logged in, right, before it can access this component, right? And secondly, that wasn't part of the updating part though. So the second part is that we have to pre-populate the existing data in our store into the form, right? And then the user can manipulate it or change it and send a request back to our endpoint to update and that endpoint will go to our database and make the changes so here comes the question how can we get the user and pre-populate it details inside our um, database our form we can do it in so many ways right first we can even save all the user details in your local storage right or even better still you can make two endpoints from your back end. One is for fetching the all the user details, right? By the ID. When you get that user, you make a request to the endpoint, use effect, and then we repopulate the form with that data. Secondly, but the easier way is what? Go back to our store and grab the user who has login. This. I mean this one. Alright, this is what we care about. This one. This. So we are going to pull from this user from our database because we assume that if we log in, we have exact details here in our store. And we're going to pre-populate this one inside our store and then send a request back to the endpoint and to change the data. Okay, so let's get started. So here, the next first thing is that we have to fetch. Okay, let me make a comment here so that um, pre-populate populate the existing user from our store okay so here is we have to talk to the um, our component right and then just grab what we need so we need we can make use of view selector right and then use effect to pre-populate that as simple as that so here, because we are, we are going to grab some piece of state from our store, we need use selector hook from React Redux. Okay, use selector. Hmm. No auto import. Hmm. No auto import. I hate. Use I like the auto import though. So use selector. Okay, some around is not working for me. So let me import it here. So import um imports from react react redux and i need only use selector hook so use selector hook is to grab some piece of state in our stock and a simple it makes that's why i love redux you know it makes it very really interesting and easy unlike the previous one we have to do component mounts and other stuff right so here i Create an instance of use selector. And remember, the use selector, this state represents the entire state in our store. This one represent this one, right? And on that, uh, we have these different properties, which is this one, book created, book list, the login, this one. So you only need this one, the user um, login. Okay, we need the user login only. So here, Let's grab the user login as that. This is a variable, it can be anything. Right? So don't be confused about this name, which is the same as that. So on that, we can also grab only the user info. Remember, we did this one when we have been uh, making creating the action to get the user token. So the same thing you are doing even here. So I only need the user login, user info, sorry guys. So here, when you try to console log user info, you will have access to the, the login user. Okay, so let's try. Let's go to our component. Mm. 
what is okay <laughs> save it and then let's go to our console don't worry about this warning stops and we have the object this is what we care about now we have it you are inside our console right so we are going to pre-populate this one into this field so what do we need we need use state right to manage the locus or piece of state in our stop sorry in our component so here let me pull out the use state auto import up there did you see that and then here i need the name right the name and then the name it to be an empty string right and then you state um, i also need the, need the email right and then also empty string for now and then the last one with the password okay because this power the user need to able to update the estate it's um password right okay good to go all right so here we have to bind our form to these various um values so one let's match individual ones so the first one is a name right so here we have a value called name and remember we want to bind so we have the unchange and this unchange we have um, the final function here and in there we have the um, target we want to grab the value so we call the set name here set name uh, and then we pass in the e dot target value so if i make changes to this it uh, to reflect our value in our state so let's see what we have nothing so as soon as i just add some let's say um joe like this we see we have joe yeah, Joe was delaying, but Joe is here also. Okay, so let's continue. So for email, the same steps, value email, and then on change will be equal to my E, and then it's not set, um, set name, but set email. Okay, like this, save it. Right, the same thing applies to the password. I'm moving fast here because we are used to these ones. Many many times, so on change, on change, set password like this, okay, and that. So, as we see, um, you will have to pre-populate the existing user. So here we can make use of this user in our console, and on the user, we have um name, right? So we say that um, if the user, there is a user, right, then we pop we pre-populate the user with a name right so here we say that user info dot name all right sometimes you can get an error uh, because we're making some async call even though it works but let's make some conditional statement here so if we say that um user info and user info dot name right so what it means is that in case there's a user then go ahead and grab the name all right so as we see exactly as we see but let's make our lives easy simpler all right so we can even shorten this one so we can make use of um question mark and dot name so this question mark do away with the end end operator right so the same steps here it will be user info and email and then user info and password but we don't want to pre-populate the password because the password is like a chunky stuff like this from my database right it's a it's what is the um um cryptic one using big crypt but we don't want to pre-populate that one okay so empty okay good so now we have it here next is let's dispatch the action so when i click this one then our action will be dispatched so what do we need we need use um dispatch all right you dispatch is also from react Redux to dispatch um action from a component use dispatch okay okay so here let me say dispatch action of oh, rush okay so here Let's create a function, right? And then we pass into this uh, submit handler. So let me call this one const um, 
handle form submit it can be anything right and i need the e and then because i want to prevent the default e default and then let me console log something and let's assume that everything works let me call this one submitted good so let me pass into the form so here we see that on submit is equal to handle form submit save it and then let's go back to our profile and then let me send boom we are good to go so here we can quick dispatch our action so here i will say dispatch then i pass in my action but our action is not in our component let's get over to our action look at the name of the action and then bring it in this component and then trigger it so the action is called update user and i think now the auto import works right look at the path a form action uses and user action all right oh oh yeah here yeah, yeah. <laughs> good so what is this this is oh i'm inside this reducer not reducer this is not with this reducer right? Yeah, right here update profile right this, <laughs> this is what i need it so let me call this one update profile sorry update user and then auto import same thing but this is a function right and when you hold over to our, our mouse you can see it needs name email and a password so let's pass in the piece of stage we need here so name email and then password right remember to pass in the exact pattern as we did in your action because we, we just um, spread it out because we need a piece of name first and then email and a password but if you're passing an object like this let's say data you don't need to know the, the order here so now we are good to go next is let's try oh my god you dispatch is ready fine so let me create an instance of my use dispatch so use dispatch mm like that okay now we have it to display the action an instance of it and then dispatch the action refresh it okay so now with this one let's try let's go to our dev extension to our action is clean right now let's trigger something boom mm. 404 let me see the error mm. 404 it means that there is something wrong not found this endpoint is not found okay let's see what we have api users profile update so let's go over to our back end i believe you guys saw it maybe the path where we are getting that endpoint there's some mistake i made so let's go to the routes users routes okay i have profile update oh sorry 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 i added to the get one so here not here right not here so in the update one mm, this one so like can you add it here sorry 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 guys profile have you seen how the error is coming friendly in our front end right the error is coming from here so let's try again okay so watch out let's watch out let's refresh it and Repopulate it, watch out, empty. Let me send boom and update request. Let's wait. It's delaying. Let's hope for good news. User update request. Hmm. It's still request. Sometimes the network that you are dealing with is loading, so there's something going on right okay so let's try let's look at our server if the server has shut down hmm, maybe our server is not working oh it's working db connected but why let's go to our network and then let me see why it's still hanging update let's see our data going to the going to the yeah everything correct yeah correct mm. so why 
I'm going to get in the response. Okay, let's try network problem. Let's try do something and then boom. Hmm. Still request. Okay. No problem. Okay, so maybe it might be network issue that I'm facing talking to my database. Okay, so let's look at um, update fail. Let's see. It fails. Hmm. No sensible. Let's look at our console. Hmm. Our network. Okay, let's try again. Right, so let me update this one name to let's say Jack and then password do, 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 do. update. Look at our action update request, update request. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, I think maybe I have problem with my network. That's why I just keep hanging and then the socket just disconnect. Okay, so basically that's the pattern, right? That you need to follow to update the user profile. Okay, so you can even make some changes to make some user friendly. We can we want to show some spinning in case the user the the update is going on. So let's try that one. Okay, so here we need to grab the this one what we have here update request okay because it's loading and then um, we can have some states and say it's loading then choose some spinning mm -hmm. yeah so let's do that so you want to grab that updated user in our db here as you can see if it's loading we want to keep showing that some spinning all right so here let's grab that one quickly so let me call this one um, new selector right because I need that and then here is called updated updated user all right and then let me grab these ones so let me see const and from the updated user and then here I need the user and I need loading and I need the success. What about the error and the error? So here, let's show some error to this user, right? So let me bring it here. You will see that if there is error, then let's display something h1 and then let's just display the error. All right, just that. And if it's pinning, you will see that if it is loading, then you show some mm, loading or whatever and see that loading okay so let's try maybe my network that is where I'm, I'm facing that okay so with this let's click on that why i'm not seeing the loading those tabs let me go to profile update console let me see what I have here maybe I'm not grabbing the right details of the user oh this one is yeah this one I made a mistake okay so with this one let's try as you can see loading and um, as an error, the error will appear, right? So basically, I have challenges with my network. That is why it keeps hanging. So that's how we update the user profile. This is a say, this is a part we use, right? So I believe you enjoyed this video. So please comment, share, and subscribe for me to bring you more videos like this. Thanks for watching.